Hey everyone, welcome to my first studio vlog. Here's my cat Willow being a cute ass baby like always. Anyway, let's get into it. Here's the mushroom magnet. You guys might have seen it on, you know, my Instagram, my Twitch, literally everywhere. Um, but I am actually obsessed with this magnet that I made, uh, so that's why. But this is a this is a stream clip, so that's why it's like at that angle and stuff. But you can see the details really well with it, which I like. So I use a Walnut Hollow creative wood burner for anyone who's curious. This is the drawing tip. It's really small, really good for small details like what I did here. Like, look at all those little leaves. Y'all think I could do that with a ball? <laughs> what? A ballpoint tip? No, no way. So we got that drawing tip. This is, I believe, birch that I'm burning on, if anyone's curious also. And I really love mushrooms. That reminds me, um, you should check out Terrence McKenna if you guys have never heard of him. Um, his book, Food of the Gods, is so, so good. Um, one of my favorite things about mushrooms, and Terrence McKenna really, <laughs> is the stoned ape theory which is that, you know, thousands and thousands of years ago, apes were wandering the grasslands in Africa before, you know, grasslands, you know, forest, etc., in search of food, basically found mushrooms, tried them out, and learned, you know, was given language basically from this psychedelic, you know, food, and basically developing consciousness through mushrooms and all that kind of stuff. So if you like that stuff, you're in the right spot. And I'll probably talk about it more. Because um, that's what I'm interested in. So here I am using some watercolors to paint this. I really enjoy using watercolors because I, I just like how they absorb into the wood. Like they just become a part of it also. If that makes sense. Um, and I like that you can build up the color there's not a lot of pressure to get it right the first time. So. I love this shot. I love how you can see all the details on the piece. Also, when you look at the piece, it looks pretty perfect, right? But I can see all the differences and it's so hard as an artist to not fucking critique yourself all the time. <laughs> And like make sure everything needs to be perfect and like people tell you you're perfect and you're just the first one to point out your own flaws so like maybe I shouldn't do that and you know I'm gonna try to not do that and you try to not do that too about yourself let's not pick at ourselves anymore huh so here I am making it into a magnet I actually had another piece too I was working on so I got two magnets here but I got these ceramic magnets at Lowe's, the glue at Mo Mo's, Lowe's, <clears throat> anyway, Lowe's, I use an E6000 <laughs> industrial glue, and it was the first time I've used this glue, and I liked it, I mean, I did like it, it's very strong, it very has like that, uh, like body shop smell, like, like enamel paint or some shit, like, yeah. But here's the finished shot. I love it. I wish I had gotten more shots and pictures <laughs> before it sold, but more are coming like this. So that's basically it, guys. So thank you for watching and have a beautiful rest of your day. I love you.